last week we talked about messaging and to just quickly recap, it's a noisy world out there. People are being inundated with messages, whether it's advertising, whether it's politics, yeah. and we need to break through the noise. And the way that we do that is by being clearer than everybody else. Clarity beats clever. It beats wow. creativity. Ideally, you could figure out a way to be clear and creative, clear and clever, but at the end of the day, you have to be clear. You have to let people know exactly what it is you do and how you make their life better. Yeah. So this week, we're taking the next step in brand strategy, and we are creating a visual ID. So, Pete, I'm going to ask you the big question. What goes into a visual ID? Yeah. it's. I love that you're talking about clarity because the clarity in the message should translate really well to clarity in your like visuals. And so visual, I think when you say, hey, what's your visuals? The first thing you think of is a logo. Um, people are quick, to, like logo is such an overused term. It's like mm -hmm. everyone says, oh, I need a logo or, you know, I need, that's the first thing they think of. And one of the things that's important to mention is that the order of, in which we're even talking about these of messaging strategy, you know, and then messaging and then your visuals, because your visuals they need to be birthed out of like conviction and meaning. And that's where messaging is like, mm -hmm. so that's really important. So I would say to be clear, logos, another big pillar of visual is colors. What colors are you using? Yeah. When you look at McDonald's, you're, they're using red and yellow. They invoke hunger, right? All those types of things. You get into color theory. You can go as deep as you want into some of these things. Um, so color and then typography and another word for typography is font. So, you know, if you're working on Microsoft Word, you have, you choose through fonts, you do this kind of stuff every single day. Even the smallest businesses are utilizing these softwares and you're choosing fonts. So in a lot of ways, you're making decisions as a designer would make a decision, right? Right. So if you want to use Times New Roman, that's going to give you a certain look. And obviously I'm using like the most basic yeah. Microsoft fonts, but to make this relatable, like but you know Times 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 New Roman, right? You know like Helvetica, you know uh, Arial, and so you're going into that document and making a conscious decision of what font you want to use to convey something, right? Right? And a designer is doing the same exact thing. They're saying, "Man, looking at this messaging, looking what this at what the company stands for, what fonts or typography, what colors do I want to use to work together to create a logo?" And I would say the size of what you need to do will determine how that entire brand family looks. And some companies need a large variety of logos. Mm -hmm. You know, some companies have Nike Dubai, Nike US, Nike, you know, and there's different marks for each geographical location. Some company, and that's not who we're talking to here. Obviously, we're talking to local service providers. So yeah. they might not need all the bells and whistles that a big business will. But that's where... But a lot of companies will expand into new services and potentially need that as well. Yeah. And sometimes it's like, okay, then we keep the logo the same, but then we create a icon system mm -hmm. where each either location has a slightly different icon or each service has a slightly different icon. So there's different ways to approach it. And you and I have worked together on enough projects that we've probably approached those things in different ways. You can, yeah. you know, I think what people get... Re they're really quick to, hey, we have a new division. We have a new whatever. Let's create a new logo. Yeah. And that's where it's like, well, let's reel back in. Let's just, let's think about what we're doing here. And that's where it's really helpful to have another voice, perhaps an external voice, a third party, mm -hmm. someone like Brandnerd, <laughs> but to come in and just say, hey, let's think about what we're doing here and why we're doing it. And hopefully make sure that we're being like consistent across the board with visuals. Because how many times have we worked with people that have like a different... Mm -hmm logo for like just a different service that they offer and we're like no we could have just reinforced the existing brand rather than spreading ourselves too thin and that happens all the time and so yeah i yeah. kind of covered more than you asked me but that's kind of visual that's kind of visual identity like from a thirty thousand foot view if you enjoyed this brand nerd podcast clip be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode in the meantime here are additional videos you might find illuminating.